Michael, would you like a garfish with a prawn and lemon rind stuffing? Oh. Would that excite you? When I was a young man, we used to catch garfish way out there somewhere. What turn of the century was that, Mickey? That was the last century. OK, and what about giving us the ingredients? That's far more tangible. And the ingredients are garfish, uncooked prawn meat, two small red chilies, spring onion, of course, bread crumbs, a little bit of grate of your homegrown Meyer lemon, rice wine, olive oil, only the best, Murray River salt and cracked pepper. Here we are, my official slicer cutter-upper, and Michael's doing the spring onions. These just so fine, that's yep. all you need, don't that's you? That's all. And Michael, these are the South Australian King Prawns. Yep. To take out Beautiful. the intestinal tract, otherwise known as the poo tube, if you just twist it, see that? Hold it with your thumb, mm -hmm. and look, it comes out like that. Beautiful. And there you have it. Now, these are a bit harder to peel because they're uncooked. When they cook, actually the meat is a bit released from the shell. Yeah. So start from the underbelly, right? And then just turn them around the same as you do. Hold them and a lot of people just hold that and you get all the meat. Oh. And there what you are. What do other people do? Uh, they well, get it, seriously, well, you get in a lot of trouble peeling a prawn. And a lot of people just do that yeah, and, and they leave and all that. Look at all the meat. Get out. I get a bit cranky over it. Oh, that. I would. I get a bit cranky. So there you are. Okay. I've diced it up. Now, did you grow these, the chilies? Did, hey, I think we've got, think we got a, a problem here with a virus. What? On your foliage. Well, you, the last time it's you... It's so under, underfed. Oh. No, these should be a foot long. Are they? Look at them. Well, I thought you wanted hot small chilies. <laughs> You're having me on, aren't you? <laughs> All right, I'll cut them Okay, up. I use Paco breadcrumbs. You can also use fresh breadcrumbs. So about a cup or thereabouts. Michael's giving me the... Um, Spring Michael, onions, yeah, yeah two teaspoons there. of mirum, which is rice wine. Right. That's one. Yeah, that's all in there. Two, that's there. That beautiful Rosedale oil. Mm, nice. Okay, Mickey. I can't wait to have these. Oh, and it's, I love gar, uh, the oil. Mickey? Oh, yeah, because I've been busy for the last hour preparing a magnificent charcoal bed of heat. There are. Cook beautiful. This on. And, and Mickey, what else? Oh, lemon rind. Yes, yes. And I've done it. too good. You got a bit of brown rot there. Oh. Yeah, the, you know what happened? He comes around to my place to look at my garden and he gets stuck in the cellar. I don't know what the <laughs> distraction is there, but obviously, look, yeah, Mediterranean beautiful. seasonings, there's a whole lot of goodies in there, mm. as long as the wind doesn't get it. Okay? Oh, now, gee, fresh. You can't go wrong with that. What me, else do you need? We're just going to mix it together. You want me oh, to do it? Yeah, you do. Go on. Okay. Now, oh, so it's just like that with the, not, with the breadcrumbs. That's it. It helps Beautiful. bind them. That's yeah, why. That is so easy. I know. And we got. You left anything out? What about parsley? No. And you know what you can do? We can slice up that beautiful yes, white loud piece bread. Yep. Brush it with olive oil, and also grill that. that bread to fit the, the garfield. Now all, all right. we got to do. That's it. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Oh, you can smell it. Beautiful. Now these are the gar. I've just gilled gutted. And the best way of getting gut is those old-fashioned kitchen yeah, knives. They've got a round it. blade. Yes, Remember I know that? the ones. So all you've got to do is fill up the cavity. Actually, some people I've seen mm -hmm. actually put strings around them. Oh, OK. But that could burn. OK? Now, Michael, you could have put parsley in if you wish, but we're going to use it after. Yes, you can. Because um, as a bit of a, I suppose, a, bit, a little bit of lemon. Be uh, beautiful. Yeah, olive crack, oil. Crack, crack, olive just oil. speed it up a yeah. bit. And, and that will give it a lovely garnish. But you can put, but also you could put that with the cavity with it as well, Mickey. Now, Michael, they're looking terrific. Oh, the bread's cooking. Oh, and the, on the charcoal. To the point of getting it charcoal. <laughs> i got to tell you, you can see we've both been in the Sea Scouts. <laughs> and look, we've even got a flock of seagulls behind us. They want to prove, look at that, how simple. Look at that, sitting around, telling stories, telling fish tales. Telling occasion, lies. Telling lies. This, this, and this. Depends how big it was as Look, it swam away, Michael. I mean, I mean, this bread's all right, too. Oh, this that's fantastic. Bread. I, I just uh, doused it with olive oil oh. and some uh, Murray River salt on yep. the top. And I'll tell you what, that is going to be fantastic Isn't it? with that. Isn't how that simple, eh? Stuffed garfish with prawn and lemon rind.